This is the real con dinner. Do you usually get it to set dinner? It's huge. It's all the noodles. Food, drink. Sore nani? Kore nani? Sake yang. Liquor before dinner? Ah, liquor before dinner. I see. And you got that, and then you got rice. And then what's this? Yeah, vegetables, I think. I'm not too sure what that is. Vegetables, I guess. Fish. Sashimi. <coughs> and of course, miso. Oh, shouldn't have got that close. So it's currently about 7.30 ish. Woke up at about 6. Uh, slept very well. Slept very well. Had a great breakfast of hoba misu. Miso, which is the food around here. I didn't bring my camera well, I did bring my camera down, but I didn't want to show it first thing in the morning. But uh hoba miso, it's the famous miso that's it's like a miso that you take it's miso is basically fermented soybean. And you place it on a leaf and then you have it slowly cooked by a candle or some sort of fire underneath and then you get to have it with your rice and it's a it's a really nice breakfast with some vegetables and some pickle pickles and uh, a little bit of fish really good breakfast and now we're going to spend the rest of the day at kamikochi which is a very famous place around here and it's very nice for the foliage and which is the whole reason for this trip and we'll see how that goes after running for about, I don't know how long, about 20 minutes, half an hour till I fell asleep on the bus, so it didn't really matter, but we've arrived at Kamikochi, and this is what Kamikochi looks like. <laughs> it is really nice. This is Kamikochi during the autumn, it's currently October, so. Autumn, not exactly winter, but it's really cold, it's probably about two degrees or so. It's not freezing, but it's, it's cold. And everyone's favorite, duckies. There's probably gonna be more to see. After, after doing a little hiking, now we're back in the other side. We just hiked through there. We were there originally, so now we're here. It took about 10 minutes or so. We're gonna go further and see what's up. Finally out in some sunlight. It is cold and nice and chilly outside, so the river and the water and the really nice water. And then out over there is the mountains with some snow. Some nice powder, as people would say, on the top. Japanese snail. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. And then the big tree. And then they have some more trees there. Yay. At Tashiro Lake. Or pond, actually. I think it's really small. And it's not a contained body of water, so what is it? A delta? Perhaps a delta. I don't remember my geography very well. Didn't like my teacher that much. But what can you do? It is the Azusagawa River and we're on the Tashiro Bridge and those are the hotels they're about $300 a night so not exactly the most fun a little bit warmer but still pretty cold everyone's still bundled up so hopefully get warmer a little bit later it's finally we're close to the hotel it's just really nice This is kurumi on which is a red bean and this is a black bean. I don't know what kind of flavor it is. I think it's sweet though. They both should be sweet. They're called oyaki. And we also ordered two hot dogs on a stick because we finally get a break and nice. So hopefully get some food and then go back on our hike again. We were 
arrived at Kapabashi, which is where we've all been trying to go. It's busy, busy, busy. The Kapabashi Bridge and the river. Nice. This is the uh, Shinchu Ringo <laughs> walnut pound cake and the uh, apple pie. Apple pie, yeah. And coffee. <laughs> because I am really, really tired. Let's see how it goes. On the Kappa Bridge. So after crossing Kappa Bridge, now we're in the museum. Pretty nice museum. It's the world of Yukio Tabuchi or Tabuchi Yukio. And it's just a bunch of paintings and photos, or a lot of them are very pretty. Which is about an hour away from where we're from by foot. And this is what it's like. It's a Ottoman Kamikochi. An hour hike before you arrive, so see how that goes. We're halfway to Miyojin. It's been about, I don't know, half an hour or so of walking. We finally reached something that's remotely nice to look at. The hike was a little bit strange. It's been like this the whole time, and then all of a sudden we have a little clearing so we can see the river. Yay. We reached another clearing. Nice. Really nice. See the mountains and everything else. About 20 minutes away from where we were. This is the famous Myojin Bashi at Myojin, which is the first, the second rest stop that we have on our trip in Kamikochi. The Azusagawa River, or the Azusagawa. Gawa mean river, so why would you say river twice? I don't know. Nice little area. On the other side of Myojin Bashi, taking a break, taking a break. Because my feet are tired. And my back, because I'm 6'5 and my back is killing me. This is the river, and this is what you come to. Uh, Kamikochi to see, it's the autumn foliage. The loop right there, sorry. Foliage. Two thirds of the way from Myojin ga, Myojin Bashi, and now we're here. Nice little ravine. Sometimes when you get a duck this close, and that's what we're doing. That's what everyone's doing, and the children are obviously doing rude things. I think we've arrived back at Kapabashi, hopefully. I think that's hopefully a building that we can go in and get some food, because I'm actually really hungry right now. And, uh, see how that goes. Nice! A lot of water today. And the clouds have uh, sort of encircled that mountains up there. It's the Japanese Alps that's up there. If you like mountains, here they are. This is the line to get back. It is horrible. We were waiting from there all the way to here to take the bus to go back to the parking lot. 